This is George from High Tech Legion. With HTPCs becoming more and more common and really more and more the rage, um, we're seeing a lot more HTPC cases out there. There's been obviously problems with space considerations versus performance, uh, getting a decent amount of cooling and getting the components uh, that you want into the case into the case. Renowned case manufacturer Leon Lee has been tuning and fine tweaking this for a few years and they've got out the new PCQ09FN. It's an aluminum mini tower PC case uh, specifically for HTPC use or just as a mini tower with a mini ITX board you can with uh, some of the new motherboards out there you can really build a very high powered system using a case such as this. Taking a look at the box you get a nice look at the PCQ09FN itself. It does have a 300 watt power supply built in. USB 3 right on the front. Removable slim optical disk drive tray. Removable anti-vibration hard disk drive rack. The 300 watt power supply as I stated. Aluminum case stands. Uh, made in Taiwan and good looking unit. It's pictured on the cover in black, but it is available in black and silver. Today we're going to be taking a look at the silver. Out of the box, the PCQ09FN is really a striking piece. A uh, beautiful brushed aluminum finish. And as you can see, flat front with two USB 3 connectors in the front and very simple power button, Leon Lee name right on it. Uh, the other thing that's very striking is it's a very, very small piece. It's really hard to get a handle on how small it actually is, but this is a 120 millimeter fan. You can see it's the size of two 120 millimeter fans and right about the same height as a 120 millimeter fan. Uh, really tiny piece. It's going to fit just about anywhere, but it's got enough room inside that we're gonna actually going to be able to get some good components in there. So moving around, See on the one side we've got open venting which is going to lead to the power supply and the power supply fan. Around back, opening for I.O. plate, opening here because your USB 3 is the type that's going to plug into the rear of your motherboard so you've got a nice routing that's going to pop right through there. Also once again vent holes in the back. Around the side Got the opening for a 120 millimeter fan which is mounted inside which is going to blow the hot air out of the inside of the case. Now as you can see, top, beautiful brushed aluminum, solid color. It's very, very solid construction. Um, this is actually more solid than even most of the full towers we see. Down the bottom, aluminum footrests and once again solid piece. Uh, one of the other interesting parts about this case is it's just about tool free. The top and bottom remove simple pull. With the top and bottom removed we get a good look inside the chassis. This is actually top down. Optical disk drive tray sits up top and is removable by four screws. Power supply sits on the right. A removable tray for three two and a half inch discs sits over on the right. That will actually snap out. Over on your left hand side, 120 millimeter exhaust fan and your motherboard, um, I should say your front panel connectors come down into the main housing of the motherboard uh, tray. Looking down the bottom, you can see you've got a nice big cutout for mounting a CPU cooler and getting to the back of the motherboard, motherboard tray itself. You've actually got room around the sides to actually get some of your wiring through. Power supply, cabling, all inside. Obviously, SATA connectors, total of four. Molex and two motherboard connectors. And of course, fan connector goes to a Molex. Or can be taken off and attached directly to the motherboard. USB 3, as we say, is going to be routed out the back and plugged into the motherboard. So you've actually got 
all the cabling you need. And as you can see, you've got a decent amount of room to work with. So, very pretty case inside and out. A uh, good amount of room. And should be able to fit in all the components that we're going to need. Taking a look at the included accessories. First, available accessory sheet from Leon Lee. Installation guide in several different languages. Uh, very detailed, thorough installation guide. Nice to see. But it's a very self-explanatory case as far as installation. As we saw, very simple to work with, nice and easy to work with. But it's also good to see that there is a thorough installation guide. And finally, accessory box. Simple assortment of accessories. Power cable. Wire ties. Speaker. Drive screws. Motherboard screws. The PCQ09 is an incredibly flexible and incredibly well built Mini ITX case. Uh, you do have removable trays for a slim optical disc, one three and a half inch drive, and three two and a half inch drives. Built in 300 watt power supply, USB 3.0 right on the front, even though it does right out the back and go into the motherboard uh, rear I.O. panel. Just really a nice design from Leon Lee. Lots of flexibility and we're going to have a good amount of room to get some really serious components inside.